Prime Minister Raila Odinga's aide, Elio Dowalo, has once again declined to record a statement with the police of an alleged plot to destabilize the government. Owalo, who was for the second time summoned to appear before the Criminal Investigation Department, denied 11 allegations leveled against him. His lawyers say the allegations do not disclose a crime. Owalo says he's willing to record a statement if the state establishes an offense. Outside the CID headquarters, supporters of Eliud Owalo sang in solidarity. This was the second time in as many weeks the aide to former Prime Minister Raila Odinga was appearing at the Criminal Investigation Department headquarters. Owalo was summoned of an alleged plot to destabilize the government. He was questioned for close to two hours in the presence of his lawyers. During the grilling, investigators listed 11 allegations against Owalo, among them the intention to mobilize youths in urban areas, slums and congested areas of Kenya to civil disobedience, plans to provoke the police into long-running battles with a view to causing commotion, the intention to recreate pre multi party era chaos, intention to cause a popular revolution and to incorporate the civil society into his agenda. They do not disclose any crime or an offense of any kind. Two, they agreed with us that they do not have a complainant they know. Owalo, who was the campaign manager for Raila Odinga's presidential bid in the March general election, denied the allegations. And just like last week, he declined to record a statement. I've declined to respond to those allegations. I've also declined to write any statement because the truth of the matter is that I'm a stranger to those allegations. They, it's very, very clear that they are unable to establish any offense for which I was summoned here. As and when they establish any offense, I'm willing to come back and engage them in further discourse. Leaders who accompanied Owalo to the CID headquarters now claim the move to interrogate Owalo is part of a bigger plot targeted at key leaders of the Quad coalition. you starting with Mr. Owalo as a decoy. Yet Raila Odinga is the actual target. What we've been called for here today are allegations that have not been uh, substantiated and they're causing a lot of worry for us as Kenyans. Just over a week ago, Owalo had written a newspaper opinion piece calling for the dissolution of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, a demand Raila himself has repeated on several occasions. Rita Tinina, KTN.